Good morning, everyone. We are live once again for stream number 156. It's a very small preview of what we're working on while I zoom in. It gets covered up a little bit from the navigator zoom in thing, whatever it's called. Now let's add Let's uh, fix up the shirt first, and then I'm going to add the patches and things like that. Yeah, we'll just go through this and clean up some of these sections. I probably should remove the... sketch underneath it. Actually, I think I'll move this down and we'll make this cuff part of the shirt, like the whatever that's called, <laughs> separately and then connect it after. We can make it round. This needs a decent amount of adjustments. Yeah, I just want to make this a little bit more round. Ah, this needs to be cur oops, curved as well. Maybe I can... round this off a little bit better. I'd rather follow this line and make a separate collar around the bottom of it. We might as well do what we did before. Maybe I kind of like how this is rounded. Maybe this one can be straight like it was. We'll see how it looks when we turn off the sketch in a few minutes. All of this generally looks okay. We will make this a little thicker. Round this off like that. And right here still needs played around with a little bit. Yeah, we'll get rid of that line and that, that feels a little bit smoother. Grab this and connect it. Actually, this part's overlap, so let's do similar here. Well, he is kind of pushing against his sweater, so let's do something like that. We might, I might not like it. We'll see. And that's fine. Of course, we are having a problem now with the uh, where the shoulders are. Turn the sketch off again. If we can move this over, maybe down a little. And I guess something similar here. Move some of this around. Just to fix up some of the shapes. Some of this is a little too thick. Oh, right. Okay, this is the, the cuff. Let's add that next. I think I'll just use the pen tool. Oops. Do that for right now. Remove the stroke. Gotta learn my uh, shortcut key. 
some of these things and connect around here. Then if I use the corner tool, I can just round off parts of the edges like that. We will have to do a similar thing on the other side or the other cuff as well. I get a little bit, um, Mm, I don't want to make it more round. I make it like push it in a little. I'm okay with it being round. I just don't want it sticking out too much. I want to adjust how this curves. I just didn't like like how. Uh, flat this section is. Yeah, more around there. Uh, same thing with here. That's this. Uh, it's this. I'm going to somewhat try and match the two sides. Yeah, that's better. This guy is gonna have a little bit of hair sticking out from his his hat. I'm gonna adjust the hat color, make it more of an orange. Mm, I don't know about the color. Figure it out after, I guess. Now I'm gonna add. Actually, let's add the cuff, because I think I'm going to forget about it. It doesn't need to be too... Um, noticeable, because it is just like a small detail here. There's going to be lines and stuff here as well. Pixelated Cyan, nice name. How are you doing today? Thank you for that follow. Somewhat copy the shapes that I originally drew. Copy the color and then make it a little be a little darker and then shift shift it over towards the purple Just lighten it off slightly I'm going to have these lines a little bit darker of a color Something like that should work. Then we'll just make some copies of this. Once I'm done copying this over, I'm going to make some adjustments. Yeah, I'm work working on a uh, children's art portfolio right now. Hoping to eventually get into drawing some kids' books. make these a little bit darker. Let's add some lines here for the uh, also be part of this. Go about here and then make the line a little 
there. Well, maybe I won't build this with the pen tool. I'll use a regular shape. That way I can cut out the end, this end at more of an angle. Oh, I do have commission. Um, I do have a commissions page up on here for some, like a like a profile picture. Zoom back out. Needs a little bit more to it. Add a simple line here. Adjust where it goes. Just move. Now ah, we'll keep that right where it is. Make some adjustments so it kind of sits where I want it to. Same with the other ends. Something similar. Move them over maybe a bit. Move this one down. Closer to what I'm thinking. I look forward to drawing this character. I don't know why I really like this one. Yeah, I'll use the pen tool. I was gonna maybe just do a circle and cut it in half, but... And we will copy it and move it around like we did before. I think these might need to be a little bit... A little, uh... Smaller. Now how am I gonna do the collar? Probably do a line around the along the edge and then maybe some other lines. So we'll probably use the pen tool again. And like this. We don't need the pen pressure. And it can be fairly thin. will go a little thicker than I think because usually ends up needing to be a little more you probably just make another copy of this like that Make some slight adjustments. Yeah, that works. Maybe I will make the collar bump out a little bit. So I will grab, make a point here, and then bump this out like that. Just round it off to give the collar just something rather than it being a completely flat. I'd like to smooth this out. And I want to give this a slight curve so it's not just a 
straight line. The bottom maybe could use same kind of lines. And that should be okay. It just might be a little bit tricky to might be a little bit tricky to uh, get this curve. And then some more, more lines. We're going to get a lot of practice with the pen tool today. I guess we could add some lines for the pockets and then we can start working on the face and the hat. And we do want this thicker. Something along those lines, and then we can grab this color and then lighten it. You move the leg out just a tad and move this leg in. Character. Gives, it, gives it a little bit more flow, just relaxes it a lot more. Getting to the point where I'm going to start adding the face in, we'll maybe do the hat last. Yeah, okay, that's roughly the middle. Uh, I'm using uh, Affinity Designer. Just for something different, we'll push that towards the green. Yeah, that, that's looking much better. I want to cut this out, move the arm back and add a little bit of a hand. I think it just it needs that bit of separation. So how am I going to do that? Um, start by just making a copy. Don't need this. We will split it here. Something like this for now. Cut that out. And now we just have
Okay, so now that I have that... Then I can move this stuff. Maybe angle it slightly different too. Now I should be able to add here. Back to here, I'll probably, yeah, round this edge. Play around with this a bit. Start by rounding this off and then I will uh, cut the middle part here. Do a similar thing. So I don't really like how this is, but get around with it. like that. Won't stay this color, but Should be fine for right now. So I want to flatten these off. And then these. Something like this shape. that maybe I will make him or make it a little bigger I'm happy with how these it's a detail that I'm adding in this one or is coming along I do like the general shape of this, but we do have to make this one side. We could actually do it where it's almost fairly flat like that. Oh, I want... Only that one. Maybe this one. Maybe I need to be more like that. Yeah, I like that much better. Make a copy of it. Make some slight changes to him. looks pretty good. You'll look even better once we get the details on the hat. 
but we are going to take our we'll do our sip and stretch break first so if you can get up stretch have something to drink 